Hello everybody! In today's video, we'll be going over how to make cell animation. Cell animation was a popular form of storytelling through most of the 20th century. It was used in everything, from cartoons to movies to commercials. Cell animation eventually fell out of favor as digital processes became cheaper and easier to use. To start off, we will be choosing a character to animate. I chose a jackalope for this cycle because it's something I haven't tried before. An important thing to consider in this is to not make it too complicated. You're going to need to draw this over and over to make it move. Don't make it too hard. Once you've nailed down your character, it's time to research movement. Rabbits are very bouncy and move on all fours. I'm referencing videos of animals in real life to understand how they move. Unlike wolves and cats, rabbits seem to move with their front and back legs together. Their head bobs with their body rather than holding still as they move. Knowing this will help my animal move more like a rabbit. The next step will be rough animating. I start by drawing the two contact frames. This is when the two sets of feet hit the ground. These I have colored in black. I'm doing the frames in different colors to keep track of where I am. After that, I draw the frames between the contact and passing frame. These will be my extremes, when the character is the furthest up and down. The furthest down frame I've marked as blue, and the farthest up I've marked as green. After that, I will draw the frames in between the contact and passing frame. Once the rough is done, I test it to see if it's moving okay. I continue the process until the jackalope is moving how I want it to. From here, it's time to do cleaned line art. I get another sheet of paper and trace the positions. This makes it clearer for when I put it on cell paper. I will be doing the ears and the tail separately once this is done. By doing this, I can focus on one thing at a time, the consistency of the body and the consistency of the two follow through objects, the tail and the ears. I test this as well to make sure that absolutely everything looks great. Now it's time to transfer the work to cell. On one side of the paper, I trace the line art. It's important to make this clear because this side will be facing up. I'm going over it multiple times to be sure that the line is nice and thick and won't be able to be seen through. Once these are done, the sheets are flipped and painted. The reason I'm doing this is so that the line art doesn't get covered up by the paint. You will need to put down a couple of coats to be sure that the character doesn't have any gaps in it. You don't want to see the background through him. For the background, I am creating a desert. I am connecting the two ends so that I can make this work loop. Next, I will be photographing the scene. I am going to use a digital camera to take pictures and the Adobe Suite to compile it. Good alternatives for compiling would be Windows Movie Maker, the Stop Motion app which is on the App Store, or iMovie on Macs. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. For more information on the materials I used, click the link in the description. Thanks for watching.